update. This is a jailbreak update. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the Hack Spot. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about the iOS 11.2 and above jailbreak. So, basically, this includes iOS 11.2.1, 11.2.2, and 11.2.5, which is in beta right now. But anyway, so many people have been asking me, hey, where's the jailbreak for this? When will we have the exploits and be able to do cool stuff on iOS 11.2 and above so i'm making this video for you guys hope you enjoy let's jump right in all right so to start with the exploit that was in ios 11 through 11.1.2 has allowed for a jailbreak so it was a kernel level async awake exploit by ian beer and although there's not a full jailbreak available right now a full working cydia with cydia substrate sarik is working on it and it might be released pretty soon here in the future. So if you're on iOS 11.0 through 11.1.2, you're gonna have a fully functioning jailbreak and be able to install all your favorite tweaks, themes, and all the city apps pretty soon. Also, on top of that, with apps like Files That Jailed that work on the device because of the exploit, you can really mod your device, change some cool stuff like I did in this video, and customize your device to a certain extent. So yeah, this basically sucks if you have updated your phone or if your phone came updated with iOS 11.2 or above. My iPhone X stopped working and I had to get a replacement and now this new iPhone 10 that I have has been updated to iOS 11.2.1, which sucks. So to start with, Apple did release iOS 11.2.2 pretty recently, and it was to patch a Spectre CPU vulnerability, which basically gave hackers an ability to get into your device and just hack your device, get some files and information about you. So that has since been patched, which is a good thing. It wasn't really an exploit, and it was a very very dangerous vulnerability so that has since been fixed now as in regards to the ios 11.2 and above jailbreak there is some good news it is jailbreakable it has been proven so alibaba pandora labs whose company ceo is or boss is like his name is song yang he demonstrated that they have created a jailbreak for iOS 11.2, and this is fantastic. It shows that jailbreaking is still not dead, it's still gonna go strong, and we may see one in the future here soon. Probably not soon, but that would be so cool. So anyways, here's a blog post that they posted, and I'm going to go ahead and translate it here so you guys can understand, and so I can read it. So Song Yang, head of all secure Pandora Laboratory, said his team has jailbroken iOS 11.2 on the iPhone 10. According to him, compared to other jailbreaks in the past two years, Pandora Lab jailbreak is essentially different and is perfect. Basically, what he means by perfect is that it is fully untethered and allows full root access. So you can turn off your device, turn it on, and you won't have to do anything else. Or Cydia will still be working, or Tweaks will still be there and working, and that is so, so cool. It's been a while since we last seen a fully untethered jailbreak. So going on, Jay Freeman, the father of Cydia, said that Apple's security performance improved. Jailbreak more and more difficult. I think basically jailbreak iOS has died. Not sure what's being said there, but jailbreak is not dead. And then, although iOS 11.2 fixes some securities, we confirmed on the day of the release that the new version will be able to be jailbroken, Song Yang said. And he goes on to say, currently the industry is concerned about the Apple iOS 11 loopholes is heating up. Previously, foreign media reports Google Project Zero team is expected to bring jailbreak iOS 11.1.2. So yeah, they have demonstrated an iOS 11.2 jailbreak, and this was even on the iPhone 10, so that is great. And they are a credible source, they have a ton of proof, and yeah, it's pretty cool. But again, the unfortunate part is that they are not currently planning to release a jailbreak to the public, but who knows, maybe another jailbreak team will pick it up from there and then combine all the elements to make a fully functional jailbreak. Now, here's some more great news. I think this applies to iOS 10 and iOS 11.1.2 and below, but InfiniDev has announced that they plan to release Installer 5, a jailbreak tweak store, which is going to be an alternative to Cydia. And take a look at these screenshots. We have a ton of Cydia apps, even Anemone, which is a theming app, so you completely theme your device. That's gonna be so cool. We got Terminal. And the overall design looks like the iOS 11 app store. This looks very promising. 
and it might be really, really cool. So I can't wait to check it out once it's released. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is beware of the fake jail breaks. As always, there are so many of these fake jail breaks going around. Just by doing a quick Google search, the second link right here, Yalu Jail Break. You guys can see that they provide three methods for getting a fake jail break on your device. And this is not real again. And basically all this does is put a third party city alternative and this like Tutu app Panda helpers. So I wouldn't really go and install it from here because it's kind of sketchy. Here's the third link. So download pangu.org. This guy claims he has a pangu jailbreak for iOS 11.2.1, which is of course not true. He's not even a part of the pangu team and they just made a website and just add it to your home screen and boom, you're basically done. Now, again, this is completely fake. In this video that they provide, he doesn't even show Cydia being installed and running. So that's a clear indication that you should avoid this. There's one, another one right here by Pengu8 Jailbreak. Probably a fake jailbreak there too. And Taiji9.com slash 11.2. So guys, only follow credible sources. And that way you'll know if a jailbreak is fake or real. Once a video is released or a blog post is posted. But anyways, that basically wraps up today's video. Many of you guys wanted to know the status of the iOS 11.2 and above jailbreak. So here it is. So guys, as always, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully we see a joke break soon because I really want one. Anyways, hit that subscribe button for your daily dose of THS. And as always, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.